the idea is that in clinical trials, especially complex diseases, we need to be able to have this, the outcomes that are the most sensitive to disease progression. Um, otherwise, we'll fail uh, to even, even in large studies to, to find the right uh, outcome for the treatments. For example, um, lecanemab and donanemab both uh, relied in their phase two studies on composite outcomes, uh, lecanemab with adcoms and donanemab with, uh, with idris. And had they not, if they had just used CDR sum of boxes, CDR sum of boxes failed to be uh, significant in both those studies, and maybe we wouldn't have gone on to the next study. So by reweighting um, MDS UPDRS, we can optimize it to disease progression and make it more, uh, make it easier to get the right result with smaller sample sizes or have more power. What we're presenting today um, or this week is um, our reweighting based on PPMI, but we're also using CPP, the critical path um, for Parkinson's disease data, to, um, uh, to, like I said, to optimize the um, weights so that we can reduce the or increase the signal to noise ratio. We're reweighting the items in the MDS UPDRS part two and three um, to uh, at least one of them is a motor composite score. And we're doing that using partial least squares regression um, with time as the dependent variable, um, which helps us to identify which things are um, uh, affecting disease progression the most. We've been able to, uh, sorry, by reweighting the items in the MDS UPDRS part two and three, we've been able to increase the signal to noise ratio by 13%, which means that for a study where you have the same sample size, you can increase the power by 8%. So you go from 80% power to 88% power. Um, similarly, if you um, want to maintain 80% power, you can uh, reduce your sample size by 22%. So this would increase success for disease modifying trials um, by making it having more power with the same number of subjects. Um, therefore, you, for instance, uh, with uh, lecanemab, donanemab, when they increased their sample size, um, they were actually able to get success on CDR sum of boxes in both cases in their phase three. This is like an automatic increase in sample size just by using a, a composite score.